What is up guys and welcome to iDevice Central channel. I'm Joe Snow and today I'm gonna show you how to take your iPhone out of the hard recovery mode. Hard recovery mode means that every time you power on your iPhone, instead of the Apple logo, you will see the Apple logo for a few seconds, then the phone will show the iTunes logo, this one right here, the colored one, and the, um, the power cable logo, the lightning cable logo, and a small arrow. That means the phone is in recovery mode and uh, it means you have to restore it or to take it out of that mode. Now I'm going to demonstrate the uh, recovery mode using my iPhone 5. Okay, as you can see it says iPhone 5, iPhone recovery mode. And I have to restore or update, but restoring and updating means losing your data. So what's the problem? We have to take it out of the recovery mode using a small program. Nope, we're not going to use Red Snow, we're going to use iRecovery. If, uh, of course you can use Red Snow for that, but Red Snow have a very small um, feature for, um, for taking the iPhone out of recovery mode and probably won't work because uh, it can take it out of soft recovery mode, which means the recovery mode put by you by pressing the K combinations. But if the phone simply got in the recovery mode by, uh, I don't know, software errors or operating system issues, then that is a hard recovery mode and Red Snow cannot handle it. In this case, we have to, um, to use iRecovery. iRecovery is a small CLI application created for, um, for Terminal which uh, of course can, uh, can also let you send exploits to the compatible devices and uh, also communicate with iBack and IBSS. It's very powerful for uh, jailbreaking, for exploiting the device, but also has the ability to talk with iBoot and to set boot arguments. And this is what we're going to use in order to repair our device. So what you need to do is to download this pre-build iRecovery uh, from the description, or you can go to GitHub and download the uh, source file and compile it yourself if you're not, uh, if you don't trust my builds. You can also search for viruses, I'm, I don't have any problem with that. Uh, everybody has to be safe. And uh, after that, you go to Launchpad, in the terminal, sorry, in the uh, search section you write Terminal, open it, and I'm going to make it bigger for you to be able to see what I'm writing. Okay. Uh, I would like a plus button if I can, uh, nope, why, anyways, okay, so now you're, you should be able to see what I'm writing on the screen, even if you, even if you set a smaller quality of the video, okay, so now you need to CD into the directory where you have downloaded and extracted iRecovery. In my case, it's this one from the desktop, and I'm gonna press enter. And here we are. Now, in terminal on OS X, in order to be able to run an application, you have to dot slash. And after the dot and slash, you have to insert the name of the file, iRecovery. Okay, as you can see, the file started successfully, so I'm going to run, write again. The F parameter is for uploading uh, an exploited payload or something in DFU or recovery mode. And the S parameter is for connecting to the device. We're going to write it. Okay, and as you can see, I'm connected to the phone via USB device. It says iBoot for N42, which means iPhone 5. Here you can find the iBoot version if you're interested and the fact that it's a release. And here you have a terminal for connecting and sending uh, commands. And we're going to send the following command. Set env, leave a space, auto line boot, leave a space, true. You hit enter key, then you say save environment and reboot. Now, before I press enter and my phone will reboot, keep in mind that if you set this true to false, it will actually make your phone to get stuck in recovery mode. If you set it back to true, it will boot normally. I'm gonna say reboot and my iPhone will restart. In order to exit from this, I'm gonna slash exit. Sorry, exit. 
Okay, it will close the USB connection and exit right here. And we're done. As I said, the phone started normally right now. I can see the Apple logo and in a few seconds probably will vi vibrate. I will uh, catch the vibration of the phone. But you can find the binary in the description. It's a zip file you have to extract and take it and make it a folder like I do right here. And you have everything you need in order to do that. Also, if you are on Windows, I also have a Windows tutorial about iRecovery and exact same problem. So don't forget to follow it. Okay, my phone is up. Okay, um, let me enter a little bit in the phone and try to, to play something for you to see that my phone is actually up and running. If you don't believe me. Okay, so you can hear the phone started normally and it's everything good. Okay. So this is basically it guys, thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you find this information useful and if you want more of it, and don't forget this channel is a place where you can find everything about iPhone, iPad and iPod, both for OS X and Windows. So again, do not forget to subscribe, it costs nothing, press the thumb up button and yeah, don't forget to share it with your friends, you don't know, maybe your friends have the same problem. But till the next time, I'm Joe Snow, and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video. Goodbye.